historically there have been a few occasions in the past where people have tried to understand space resources and how they might be used. Recently we have seen a change in the international context and the technology that we have available to us and we think that now is probably the time where this really starts to take off. We're now returning to the moon and we are talking uh, about a sustained presence in space and that's going to take um, take the use of resources in space to enable sustained presence there. Luxembourg is building an ecosystem that goes beyond the geostationary low Earth orbit communication or imaging satellite architectures and taking the risk and taking the leadership leap of what do we do facing outwards, looking outwards and going out into the solar system. That kind of leadership is almost unique on the planet and Luxembourg is the gateway going out into the solar system. The first two days of this week, I and, and several other faculty taught a short course on space resources. It's a broad overview of what are space resources, what's the work that's gone into developing them and understanding what's out there in space, what are the legal and economic issues. Luxembourg is a bit of a shining beacon in Europe, I would say, because yeah, around the time when we wanted to create the company, there wasn't really any country focused on space resources. And uh, well, you then have the option, okay, leave Europe, go to, to the USA and try the venture capital route. Or Luxembourg, which, which appeared, and uh, I'll be honest, I'd never thought I would be living in Luxembourg, but it's been a fantastic adventure and Luxembourg has been super helpful and, uh, making it possible for companies like ours, very high-tech, hardware-focused companies to um, yeah, flourish, I would say.